Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my reviews. This one, we're going to be talking about the Archangel Marvel Legends from, uh, from uh, Hasbro. Um, th this is one of the reviews that Windows uh, Editor 8, so we've got that to blame. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my Trinity War review figure, figure review. And you'll see what that's all about. Anyway, so let's get to this figure. Um, I think it is a pretty cool action figure. One of the better ones that Mattel has made up to this point. Uh, and, and I'm saying this even knowing that the new, uh, the new Legends, whatever the hell they're called, uh, just came out with the uh, Captain America and the Amazing Spider-Man set, which looks... Uh, really, really awesome, really, really amazing, but I didn't pick any of those up yet. I will, and maybe I'll review it next week. Um, so, um, this is a fairly standard action figure. It's got a lot of posability, however, um, there's not much detail in it other than the paint job. I think the paint job is pretty awesome, um, although um, I would say that for some, there, there's something that kind of bugs me about his face. Um... I don't want to say it's a bad mold or anything because I think it looks true to character. However, there's something a little bit unrealistic with it. Um, but maybe you know what? Maybe what it is is that he's got a shiny face, um, and uh, anybody who knows me knows that I like having a matte finish on um, on on anything that's supposed to be skin. So the fact that this is a shiny, obvious plastic look to it kind of bugs me, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, it, I mean, it, it looks very cartoony, which is okay. I mean, it, it looks like, you know, what you would find in a comic book, very recognizable. Um, I, I guess the other thing that disappointed me was that it wasn't, uh, it didn't look like, uh, something that could have stepped out of a movie, but it's very much something that stepped out of like a comic book or whatever. But you know, that's okay. I think it, this is, I would say despite its shortcomings, which is really, um, my personal preference is this really matches a lot of the X-Men that came out. So um, if you have a set of these guys, Archangel, this guy is definitely, definitely going to complete your set. You can put it with the uh, with your Cyclops and your Wolverine and it's going to fit right in. Um, he's got an awesome kind of metallic purple um, going to this, um, which is awesome against his kind of matte dark blue costume. Um, and it kind of, it's it's very reminiscent of um, Spider-Man 2099 to me. Um, just in terms of the way I expect it to look as, a, as an action figure, I, I suppose. Um, so, we've got uh, elbow, you know, which is going to be a ball. We've got upper arm. We've got two elbow joints. We've got a wrist joint. We've got a waist. Um, and, I don't know, a, a crunchy joint that we can crunch with the bros. Um, we've got... Uh, uh, a board, a ball joint thigh, an upper thigh, um, two knee joints, one, uh, I don't know, shin, shin joint, and uh, and a, I mean uh, an ankle joint, um, along with uh, a fully rotational uh, head, which is pretty awesome because he is a flying action figure, or you know, uh, an action figure capable of flying, and he look can look completely up. Although it looks awkward, kind of like this. You know, he can, you can, that's not the sound that Archangel makes, but you know, we've got that going for us. It's extremely poseable, however, he is limited by the fact that he has huge, huge wings. And that's actually kind of the other problem that I had with this action figure. Um, it's not a huge problem, but I think that this action figure would be even more sought after had the wings looked better. Uh, this looks like a very lazy, crap, cheap plastic. Um, it is thick, it is sturdy, but it is, uh, it looks, it's visually crappy. Um, it's got this daft, uh, I don't know what to call it, stabilizing wings, I suppose, but I think Archangel would have looked a lot better had this been a three-piece fold wing. And what I'm saying is that there should have been one part here, another part here, and then this part would be the, the third um, edge of the wing, making it look like he has a very expansive wing pan, uh, span. Um, also, the other thing is that um, the, the amount of joints at the base of this wing is kind of unnecessary. Um, because, let's see here, let me see if I can show you this. 
Because to me, an action figure isn't necessarily about um, uh, function. But if you got something like this, it should also be about look. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how I could have improved this, but I feel like it could have been improved. Um, yeah. So we've got that. I mean, it, it does not look attractive at all from the back. You know, it's got this huge, you know, just kind of gap hole that's, you know, unexplained and, and everything. Uh, and, and kind of the fact that you can do something like this unevenly, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Um, I, I mean, even though I know it's a backpack, it looks too much like a backpack for me. I don't know. That's just a problem that I have with this. Um, uh, you know, another problem that would come from this, uh, this action figure is also, um, shelf space. It takes up a lot of shelf space because of the wings. So this is definitely one of those action figures that you have to put at the back of the team. Um, even though you love everybody else, he, he clearly cannot be in front, otherwise he'll block, you know, like, the, the space of two or three action figures. Um, you know, it, he can't... Unless you have a, a base, like a like a posable base, you just can't really do much except for stand there and use. And you have to use his wings for balance. So, um, if you don't have a, a a a base or something to lean it against, um, you're very very limited because he is extremely extremely back heavy. And um, uh, I'm I'm trying to demonstrate what I mean here by this. Um, kind of in order to stand him up. Without taking up too much space, he has to be standing like this. Um, and the wingtip sort of allows him to lean forward, countering the, the backwards weight. If you were to pose him with his wings open, you have really no option. Because in, in full flight mode, I would say, where the wings are kind of evenly spaced and spread out, um, it's not far back enough to for him to lean back on um, for support, if you know what I mean. So here we see this, but he'll fall backwards every time. Um, and so in order to pose him, you kind of have to like arc it, arc his uh, wings back like this in order for it, him to stand like this, which is, uh, he takes up a lot of space because at this point you know we've gotten this much space um, being taken out of um, and and that's something that I think should have been um, considered when molding these wings um, you know whether it be uh, like a like a stick let's say that that drops down from here that can provide support but can be like either telescoped or folded back up to look unassuming when you want to play with it or whatever but I think it, it honestly could have been a consider should have been a consideration um so um the action figure itself is really awesome don't have a problem with it it matches all the other action figures it doesn't look realistic enough in my opinion but the wings are the real weak point here um yeah so you know we've got that it's it's definitely not something that should keep you away from buying this action figure because i you know i don't think you're going to come across such a great looking um archangel in a long time um, because, you know, it, it came out, what's it, like, uh, you know, last year. And, uh, you know, they, they're probably not jumping at the chance to really remake another one. And if anything, you would just see a repaint of this mold, I think. Uh, maybe with new wings, hopefully, if that, that's the case, I'm definitely going to buy it. Anyway, so, you know, there's my review of Marvel Legends 